I would like to introduce to everybody the Leopard 2K or AKA the tank that doesn't give a shit about what armor your tank has on it. This is Germany's new top tier toy at battle rating 8.7 and is equipped with one of the most famous cannons in the world today. And that's the 120 millimeter Rheinmetall L44 cannon. Now, um, I've seen this thing in real life on, you know, in museums and stuff, but for some reason it looks stubby on the Leo. I don't know if, if it's just because the amount of armor they have around this portion of the gun. Wow, they have spaced, really in interesting. So maybe that's to prevent maybe um, shells that ricochet off the upper plate into the, okay, that's beside the point right now. But there's one thing that I have to address before we go any further in today's video, and I'm at fault of this too, or not doing my part. We have many new faces on the channel and many new faces playing War Thunder. And uh, it needs to be stated that the dev server, a lot of things change, ton of things change. Maybe at least just in the beginning, the first dev server video for a new patch will say uh, things on the server will change heavily. I mean, back in the day, the MBT-70 and the T-64A um, we're 8.3s on the dev server. And when I hit the live server, they were 8.7s. Maybe that wasn't the best example because right now, as I'm recording uh, this video, uh, we have confirmation from a dev Q&A that the 9.0s on the dev server will stay at 9.0s. We're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, but what I'm trying to get at is that everyone, when I mean everyone, I mean not literally everyone, but Everyone's losing their minds. They're ranting without sustenance. They're screaming, crying wolf. I mean, there's some of you guys who are uh, submitting credible documents, credible sources. Uh, your rants have sustenance. But a lot of people are just yelling with their head cut off, screaming that the T-64 Bravo is impenetrable. Okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you right now. 417 millimeters of penetration at 10 meters away, 90 degrees. Okay, so we can go lower glacis. Let's see, right there. Lower glacis dead. So what if the T-64 Bravo is hold down? Now again, we're not using the best round that we have or the best penetrating round that we have for this uh, Leo 2K. Up, oh, T-64 Bravo, panicking, panicking, uh, shoot the cannon barrel or the breach. Now it's impossible for him to shoot at you. So now you have all the time in the day to get this shot right for the weak spot right below the turret. This <laughs> good douche. 650 millimeters of pen with this heat. Uh, everything um, will die in probably about two shots. But I think what we're experiencing here is change and humans don't like change. And humans don't like change without um, transparency. And right now, we're we're at a crossroads with um, what sources are, are, are is War Thunder using? Um, what are they changing? How will this? You know, it's all up in the air. And so that's why I think a lot of us are freaking out. And it's good. To, I want to reiterate: it's good to freak out. That's how we get things changed in the game. But you can't freak out with your head cut off. You you, you got to be calm, collect, and cite super credible sources or sources that, that just spell it out in plain English. And don't be saying this thing can't be killed. Anyways, let's um hop back into the hangar and uh, talk about the uh, Leopard 2K and why I think th this might be one of the most enjoyable tanks of this patch. Uh, we really have no armor, though things will bounce off the upper plate every now and then, 75 millimeter degrees. Lower plate, we don't have any composite other than this fuel tank that will potentially block some uh, heat shells. Now, we have that space armor below the turret, I guess, to stop ricochets from the upper plate. Side armor, it's, you know, it's not even really worth looking at. It's nice to have, but it's not going to save your butt anytime soon. What we all play this thing for is for the top speed of 70 kilometers an hour. It's gone 120 millimeter Rivadel L44. And then the uh, se or the secondary or the third area. <laughs> Anyways, the secondary of the 20 millimeter. That's going to have, I think, penetration upwards of 60. No, 44 millimeters with a default uh, 20 mil. We might have different iterations of this on the live server. 
But right now, 44 millimeters of penetration, which is wonderful for taking out aircraft and for dealing with open top vehicles in the game. Okay, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into some battles to test this baby out. Why is that a thing? Okay, uh, <laughs> uh, that's a way to get players to uh, start playing the game. Uh, we, we had some spawn protection on our spawn. Whoa! Shiza! Shiza! Whoa! Hey, someone's... Oh, okay, I thought, I thought they were just enemy rounds incoming, but they were uh, my friendly AM... What the hell? Oh, this is a good old lad just testing out his, his new Cromwell that he's, he's getting in a little bit. Stat card, it says 70 um, kilometers an hour. And we're at a little bit of a downgrade here, or a down gradient. So maybe we'll be able to hit it. Sixty-one. Oh, darn it. Attention to the designated grid square. <laughs> SOB. There we go. Long range kill on a Leopard 2K. I don't know where he bounced, but it seemed like it hit um, my right optic. And we are going to hop down into the town here. Ooh, we've got a uh, potential enemy over here to our right. I just. I have so much power. I have so much power in my tank right now. What the fuck? What? What? <sighs> Sweet! And... Douche. Nice, man. Oh, this thing, this thing is so powerful. And, um, okay, good. Just clear. Oh, no problem, mate. And, uh, for those who are wondering, this is Eastern Europe, but this is a new iteration of Eastern Europe. Much more space to fight on than the normal match. We got enemy tank to our right. You guys see him? We're going to hide. I just saw him push into the town, getting our more pen round up because it is it's looking like a T-64 variant. Cannon barrel. That's only going to be a T-64 alpha, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. That's really fucked up. Um, he took out my main gun with a 7.62. That has to be a bug. There's no way that would ever be a thing. Ah, uh, yep. No, come on. We're about to have a good fight. This is beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. Welcome to the jungle. This really makes me like, whoa, 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 Hank. This thing's so hard to take out. Uh, let's go right here. There we go, right for the crew. No, that was ammunition explode. Interesting. Up tank, tank pushing in. Nancy. 
This is a pretty cheeky position right here. We got another guy in front pushing up. I think two more guys are over here. Is that a, uh, is that a, uh, oh gosh. We got a, uh, <laughs> we got a, a Stewart and a Challenger in front. We're going, we're, we're going to wait for this guy until this guy shoots and go for lower glazes. There we go. Whoa, Abrams down one shot, lower glazes. I think that's the other, that's the Abrams that we just killed earlier. No, that guy's dead. Okay, interesting. Another, I think the same Leo is doing the same thing as last time. Commander. That was a big hit though. A lot of things are damaged inside that tank. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, guys, remember how it was like really not sunny or anything here? It's sunny. Like the whole, the thing changed. We got a, a T-64. You see, we can't get him. I think it's the A model. Right for the court. Boom! I really, really... Oh, God. Duck, 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 duck. Get him, Abrams! I don't know if he hit him, though. Oh. Huh. We'll just call some Artie in there. I am so amazed by this weather and how it's changed the whole, like, it's dynamic. It doesn't just stay cloudy the whole game. It doesn't stay sunny the whole, the whole game. Beautiful. Ah! Oh, come on. My trigger went off. My trigger went off. Nice rush, apples. Nice rush. Yes. That lower glacis, man, is nothing. 70 millimeters for the Challenger. Okay, ridge line's clear. Okay, we're gonna push up. Oh. I'm surprised we actually went through that though. All right, welcome back. I want to apologize of how like splicing these dev server videos are. It's just the nature of the beast. These um these dev jeez Louise, that was like three or four shots. These uh, dev testings are pretty fucking crazy. Let's see if we can't get a look in there. I didn't know what I was shooting at. Whoa, look at that water. Lol, that guy on the top deck hasn't been shot at yet. Uh, not enough depression. Later, Bravo. That lower plate is a huge freaking weak spot at close range. Got one or two more. Oh, just saw another guy push out. Whoa, is that top deck? We might have to hide here for a little bit. Those guys are so tough to kill, man. They're so spaced out. They're so spaced out. But luckily, he only shot our cannon barrel. We'll have that up in 11 seconds. There we go. Abrams is down by fire or something. God, that gun sounds immaculate.
That was a huge hit on the Abrams. Lost one crew member in that process. And we're back to repairing. Fucking dev server. <laughs> what the fuck? Look at that guy. He's so dead though. All right, we're, we're going in. Oh, those things. Yes, okay, he's finally dead. Don't look at me, don't look at me, not, not me. There's so many other guys to shoot at. So Abrams right in front of me, right here, I think. Or something deadly. Let's get out of this kill zone. This guy's dead. We're... Yeah, he is. Okay, good. Yes, we've taken some valuable ground. Whoa, guys, check this out. Think. Ah, oh, god darn it. Pushed up a little bit too far. That's going to do it for me today, guys. Hope you have enjoyed uh, this. I got to I gotta leave this fucking... This too, too much. It's a sensory overload. Oh, there we go. Peace and quiet. Other dev server footage. It's bonkers. But again, hope you guys have enjoyed. Have a great one.